Drone Racing League is the highest level of professional drone racing in the world. It transforms Major League Baseball stadiums around the U.S. into state-of-the-art drone racing tracks using the very structure of the stadium itself as part of the course. This year, the championship race is in Miami, Florida in the Marlins Stadium. Join us in this series to take you inside the mind of the fastest flying racers in the ultimate test of skill concentration and technology okay we're here with hyper how does it feel going into the biggest race of the season man this is this is going to be crazy we've raced this track with no one in the audience but tonight ten thousand people it's the biggest race i've ever been to it's the biggest race in history really so i think it's gonna be pretty exciting how has it felt watching drl on tv thinking about what it might be like to be there and then actually being there yeah so i've Watched in the past to see my friends on. It's a pretty cool experience to watch, but then to be there, it's just a whole nother thing. To get to actually race with these guys on stage with the pressure, it's it's intense. It's very cool, like you're mentioning, to be like, I know some of the people yeah. on there. And now people that know you are yeah. thinking, I know somebody that's on there and it's you. All of the crowd cheering. Is it more distracting than when Joe Scully's calling your name? or less so with the crowd it's definitely more distracting there's it's just so much more noise and so much more energy really it's intense i totally get what you're saying it's gonna be a wild night guys the track is really intense this time probably one of the more complicated tracks i've ever seen on drl how does it compare throughout the ones you've done in the season yeah so we flew in san jose and the track was pretty open it was good for racing just because everybody was really tight this one again it's harder but everybody's still really, the racing is gonna be incredible. Well, we wish you good luck tonight. We'll see how it turns out. Appreciate it, John. Okay, we're here with Singu. First season on DRL, what has it been like so far? It's been incredible. I've, like, I've never seen anything like this and being part of it, it's so far been incredible. Is there a lot of drone racing where you come from? Yes, but I wish there was more, especially after the COVID pandemic, uh, everything, all the races were slowed down a lot. So I'm very excited to, to, to be here racing. Have you been watching the show for many years, wanting to be on the show? How did it come about? Did they reach out to you? Did you do the tryout? They reached out to me and in the end they, they chose me. Well, it's been one of the most internationally diverse rosters so far. There's people from many countries. What has it been like meeting everybody from a different part of the world and then racing with them? Are you guys friends? Well, are you competitors? Are you co-workers? Well, yeah, of course. Uh, of course, when we are racing, we are like, stop being friends for a second and just are competitors and everyone tries to win. But after the race, it's uh, so much fun to hang, hang out with them, share what was like the experience because every hit is very exciting. There are crashes and a lot of stuff happens. An amazing experience and super fun to, to be part. What was one thing that was different in your mind thinking what drl was and seeing it and then actually being on was there anything different or was it what you thought it was going to be no it was not what i thought it was going to be always especially the first race in san jose i learned a lot because many i was not expecting many things i, I think i i got a good experience there so i've been training with the, the things that i learned and hopefully today i'll feel more confident and I will be able to race better. A very large crowd tonight. Are you nervous at all? You feel ready? Yeah, I think I feel ready. Um, I think it will be very exciting. Well, it will be super exciting with the crowd, but it's it's easier said than done. But I think it's 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 gonna be fine. <laughs> well, good luck tonight. We wish you the best. Yeah, thank you very much. We're here with Paulos, first season in DRL from Poland. Yep. Krakow, Poland. Is uh, drone racing big in Poland? Uh, drone racing is still really underground in Poland, so I wouldn't say it's that big. How did you get into it? What inspired you to start racing? So I got into it about seven years ago. I built my first drone as part of a school project. And you've been traveling a lot in the last year. How long have you been watching DRL and wanted to be on the show? Uh, I've been wanting to be on the show for the longest time, ever since I started racing. I mean, I did tryouts for years in a row got second twice. So, you know, I've been on the grind trying to get on DRL and uh, I managed to get on this year. So I'm really happy. Really the most international pilot roster we've seen. How's it been like meeting different pilots from different parts of the world? It's really great. I love racing all these guys. A lot of them are my friends and have been my friends for a long time. We've raced in different leagues, different competitions. So it's really great getting to uh, race with them in this environment. 
because racing in DRL is so, so different to everything else in drone racing. I think it might be the biggest drone race that's ever taken place. Are you nervous? Do you feel good? Do you feel prepared? I feel really prepared. I woke up about an hour ago, so I'm feeling locked in, you know? Trying not to think about the crowd, you know? Just focus on the racing and just fly my own race. Hyper, Singu, and Pawelos are all in their rookie season on DRL and are fighting for the midfield position. Each has been at the top of their leaderboard in their respective countries of the US, Spain, and Poland. It's rare that even the top pilots come in and can adjust their flying style and routines to be at the top of the DRL standings. But the top isn't the only thing that matters. Oftentimes, the most intense battles of the season is the fight for positions four through seven. For a rookie to secure one of those spots would be huge. After all, Halo Walker, who's been leading most of the season this year was in eighth in his first season, proving that you can get points on the board, stay up in the air, and not buckle under the pressure of seeing the lights from the drone in front of you or from the blaring of the announcers and the crowd is key. To see more of this series, subscribe so that you don't miss the other big interviews with the DRL racers leading up to the championship. Catch Amari, MCK, Halo Walker, Alex FPV, and the rest here on the Johnny5 FPV channel.